On Easter Sunday, the 4th of April 2021, my family and I went for a road trip to northern New South Wales. But this is not a YouTube channel about driving, it's about public transport. So whilst the others went by car, I went by train where I could. The first day of the journey started at my hometown of Picton and ended at an Airbnb at Cessnock. But first I have to head into Central and catch this Oscar class train. Travel through the beautiful Central Coast which I cover more in previous videos, which I will put a link to. Then I get to Hamilton. Late. Missed my intended train. Oh well, there is another one to Maitland in an hour. I just won't have enough time to walk around Maitland. And then, it happened. My phone was full and no video was being saved. Lesson learnt. So frantically deleting old videos, I get to Maitland and I am able to save some videos at Maitland. Maitland Railway Station was opened in 1880 as West Maitland and renamed Maitland almost 70 years later in 1949. Maitland is the station before the railway split into two main regional railway lines, the Northwestern Line to Armadale and the main Northern Line through to Brisbane. A third railway once served Cessnock and the coal fields to the south of Maitland. Like many of the stations north of Maitland, it opened with only one platform. This is the grand building on platform number one. The Maitland signal box was built on stilts after the floods of 1955 washed away the original signal box. It eventually closed in 1990 and has since been leased out to a model railway club. On the platforms at Maitland there are these historical photos of the railway. Maitland Railway Station holds Steamfest each year. The 2021 edition of the Steam Fest has been postponed until September onto the Hunter class train heading to Singleton. In recent years, the Cessnock City Council has been lobbying the New South Wales Government to improve the services to the Hunter Line stations, as well as looking into the possibility of opening the Cessnock Railway Line to passengers once again, given the population of the area has rapidly expanded. Lochinvar is the next station. Lochinvar was named after a lake of the same name in southern Scotland. Lochinvar station was built in 1860 as a single track platform as a terminus for the line until the extension to Greta in 1862. The second platform was created in 1914 when the line was duplicated.
Farthing Station was opened in 1862. In 1878, it was renamed Greta. Platform 2 was constructed in 1915. The building on Platform 1 has been relatively untouched since the building was built in 1889. The town of Greta was named after a small river in Cumberland, England. After World War II, Greta became a migrant camp for Polish, Ukraine and German people. The two main industries in the Hunter is coal mining and winemaking. Here you can see the sidings for the coal trains. Next stop is Brankston. Brankston was opened in 1862. The area of Brankston was originally known as Black Hill. However, in 1848, the developer of the area decided that Black Hill would not attract people to purchase land in the area. George Windham arrived in the area in 1827 and established his homestead known as Dalwood and established the still-renowned Wyndham Estate Winery. This railway track goes to North Rothbury, where there is a small railway museum. station is Singleton. Singleton station was built in 1863 and was designed by chief engineer of the railways at the time, Frank Whitten. I will visit Singleton again in next week's video. Time to head back to Maitland where my family is meeting me to go to Cessnock for the first night of our northern road trip. A quick shot of a memorial path outside Maitland train station with my beautiful grandmother and it's time to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the Travelling Trent YouTube channel. And click the bell so you know when I post another video in the future. Bye-de-bye. -bye.